Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Tears of the Kingdom is just around the corner, and I know everyone's excited and also nervous about the game's release, because for one, we haven't really seen much of it, and two, it's introducing weird things that could take away from the overall experience, but we'll see about that. I'm ghost riding the whip, crazy taxi! <laughs> Either way, people are excited for Tears of the Kingdom, and I am as well. I cannot wait for this game. Breath of the Wild was one of the biggest Zelda games of the decade, and the sequel is looking to follow in its footsteps. And while I'm super excited for Tears of the Kingdom, I'm also wondering why we haven't gotten two of the biggest 3D Zelda games from the GameCube. Well actually, I mean the Wii U HD remastered versions of these games. Before we get into it, if you would, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I basically cover some gaming news and will often talk about upcoming indie games. With that said, let's get into this ordeal because, let's be real, it's weird that we haven't gotten these two games on the Switch, right? Like, out of all of the Wii U ports that we've gotten up to this point, you would think that two huge Zelda games would be somewhere on that list. Wind Waker was one of my favorite Zelda games, and Twilight Princess was my first Zelda game. And man, what a game to start with. Wind Waker HD was released in 2013 and Twilight Princess HD came out three years later in 2016. It's crazy to think that it has been a decade since Wind Waker HD, but here we are, and we still have no word on these two releases. I honestly thought that last year would have been the year that these games would be bundled up and re-released, but no. In fact, we didn't get any Zelda game last year. Now don't get me wrong, I still think they will release these eventually, no doubt. The question is, when? Tears of the Kingdom will be out in May, so we won't hear anything about it anytime soon. But the next half of the year could be a good opportunity to release these games. It's also worth noting that these games could be released separately. Which yes, would kinda suck, but you know Zelda fans are gonna pick up whatever Nintendo puts on the shelf. And I am absolutely gonna be one of those fans. I honestly see Nintendo putting them into a bundle this time around and slapping a $60 price tag. They can even shadow drop it in the next direct, similar to what they did with Metroid Prime. But I actually think they won't because they would want Zelda to have a bit more space in between the announcement and the eventual release. But not too much time because these are still ports from the Wii U. Also it would make sense if they chose to release it next year to fulfill the yearly Zelda quota. Wait a minute. Nintendo is kind of random when it comes to releasing stuff sometimes, so who knows? It could be later this year, after Tears of the Kingdom, or it could be sometime next year. But either way, it is a matter of time for these two games. Let me know in the comments below when you think we will get these games on the Switch. And do you think that it will be sold in a bundle or separately? Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. God bless.